Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to this week's Mental Monday. super fun yet important video that I want to do. I have been just so open about me and anxiety, me and overwhelm, me and burnout, and how easily I myself fall into those traps where I'm so good at worrying about things, I'm so good at feeling overwhelmed by things, I'm so good at burning myself out and trying to do too much and just taking on too much at once. And I focus so much on that. But today I wanna to talk about overwhelm specifically and kind of look at when you aren't taking on too much, you just have a lot or a big project or a big thing in front of you that you're trying to deal with. And it's not about taking on too much, it's just you have a big thing in front of you that you're working through. So I have five tips for how to handle overwhelm and what to do to get through it. So I know I'm good at shutting myself down when I feel overwhelmed and kind of just feeling paralyzed and not sure, not being sure where to start. It can be super discouraging when you feel like you don't even know where to start and you don't know how you're gonna do everything. So these are some things that I've either tried or discovered that have really, really helped me when I feel overwhelmed with things. And the first one is to do a brain dump. So this is basically where on a piece of paper or on your computer, you write down or type out everything in your mind whether it's a to-do list, whether it's things you want to remember so that you don't forget, whether it's ideas you have, whatever is rattling around in your brain and whatever is just so consuming that you can't focus, write all of that down. Get it all out of your head, take the work off your brain for trying to remember those things and look at it written out on paper. That can help so much just to relieve the pressure, just to relieve all of the work that your brain is trying to do to remember those things, to think through those things, to organize those things. It's just such an amazing tool. So that would be my first step and that has been my first step a couple times and it's really helped me. My second one is breathing exercises. <laughs> if you really are feeling overwhelmed, take a second to just breathe. Give yourself a mental break for 10 to 15 minutes. Even if you don't feel like you can take that, you will be so much more useful and helpful after taking that break than if you tried to push through it and just did everything in that state of mind. It's not going to help you be productive. It's not going to help anybody that's helping you because it's not going to be fun to help you. And you will be so much more able to focus and get things done better if you take that break when you're feeling that way. So look up some breathing exercises, just do a couple deep breaths in and out, just sit for a minute and really relax your mind and then restart that whole process. So that can be super helpful as well. My third thing is self-care. I have talked about this a ton. I have been working so hard on trying to be better at this at taking a break when I need them, at making sure I'm not overwhelming myself with what I'm trying to get done, with being aware of my personal boundaries and all of that kind of thing, but just doing something you love, whether it's taking a bath, whether it's going for a walk, whether it's taking the time to just sit for 10 minutes with a cup of coffee, whatever will help you feel like you are getting some you time. And amongst all of the busyness, this can be even more important because you got to be intentional if you're going to get that. And you need that fuel from that to be able to make it through. So whatever your self-care thing may be, even if you don't know, try something and just really see how writing in that time 
just makes all the difference. So my fourth tip is to prioritize, whether that means breaking your bigger goals down into small ones so you have the smaller steps, so you know what you need to do and you can prioritize those, or if what you're looking at that you need to do is a lot of little tiny tasks that add up to like a huge laundry list of stuff to do, prioritize what actually needs to get done right now. That way, as long as you are working on those things, you know you're getting good progress done and, and you can see the progress as you go. So you have little goals instead of the overwhelming big goal that can look like a lot of different things but prioritizing can really help guide you and give you what the next step is when you're feeling overwhelmed and you just don't know what to do. And that can help you see progress and that is a huge motivator. The fifth one may seem a little obvious but I know I need to get better at this, and that is ask for help when you need it. If it really is just not something you can do on your own, why are you trying to do it on your own? Ask for help. Ask for help even to decide if you need to. It, it never hurts to just get an external perspective on something. And sometimes when you've been trying to get something done and figured out and it just, you hit roadblocks or you've run out of ideas, getting a fresh perspective can really break through that wall and can make progress that is just so amazing. So always, always ask for help when you need it. Don't be afraid to because it can be a huge, huge hindrance to actually making progress on things and it just doesn't make you feel good. So ask for help if or when you need it. So those are my five tips. Those are the things that I've been working on, that I've been implementing, that I have found super, super helpful when I'm feeling overwhelmed. And these can be applied to so many different types of things you're trying to handle that I feel like it's a really useful system because it's diverse. And I feel like there's something in it that can help everybody, whether you're a list maker or not, there's really something you can take away from all of this. So I hope this helped you. I hope you found it interesting. If you have any other ideas for kind of handling overwhelm and how to get out of that funk, leave them in the comments below. I would love to hear them. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with everybody. And if you are not already subscribed, click the screen and subscribe. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.